Knowing how to light a fire and to keep it going for the rest of the night is important. You can use a lighter. This is something which needs to be in your survival pack. And if you're a smoker, you have lots of these in your pack. So you can use a lighter. But these have a tendency of uh, going bad at altitudes. Very often the lighters don't work. In any case, a lighter or a matchbox is one good source of lighting a fire. Another way you can start a fire is by using a magnifying glass. So I got the sun up there. I put the magnifying glass and make a concentrated focus on this piece of wood. You can already see the smoke coming out. So that's one way to light a fire using the power of the sun. You could also use this to start fires. This is steel wool. At home you would use it to clean your dishes. But in the wild you can use this to start fires. What you need to do is take a battery, take the two terminals of the battery and touch it with the steel wool. What will happen is this will start glowing, it will become hot. When it becomes red hot, pour your tinder and kindling on it, soon you'll have fire. Personally to me this is a bit of a gimmick and I would stick to more conventional methods to start fire. So just to show you that you can use steel wool to start a fire. Another way to start a fire is the bow drill method, where you take two pieces of wood and the friction created lights a fire. I still haven't mastered that art, so I won't show it to you here. What I will show you is how to light a fire using a flint and striker. First what you need is a bit of tinder. You can take pine needles, you can have uh, small dry twigs. What I usually do is in my whistle, what I have is cotton balls. I can use these cotton balls and use them as tinder. These have been soaked in petroleum jelly, so they last a little longer. And this will be used for tinder. This will light up and this will then help light the fire. And how do I light the tinder, the cotton balls? I light it with a flint and striker. And that's how you use a flint and striker to light a fire. And this fire you can use for multiple things, like I said. It'll cook your food, it'll boil your water, and you can use this as a smoke signal. Now this was a small fire we built. If we put larger logs in it, that will catch fire and it'll last through the night. And if it's cold, and if you're sleeping on this side, you can actually make a fire reflector using tinfoil, which will reflect the heat of the fire onto you, and you'll be far more comfortable for the rest of the night. If you want to learn more or become more of an expert on wilderness survival, come and join the OTS Survival School.